aligning and distributing objects. Sometimes when you draw shapes in vector works, you may wish to then either align them along a certain edge or to di distribute them evenly between a start point and an end point. Vectorworks has tools built in to perform both of these functions. So to de demonstrate this on the screen, we're just going to draw some random size rectangles, like so, with the rectangle tool, and then return to the selection tool and select all three of these shapes with a drag marquee using the selection tool. So three rectangles are currently selected with object info. Now if I want to align these objects, we go to modify on the drop down and the third option down is align and the option we're going to use on the throw out menu here is align distribute. So it's modify, align, align distribute. Click on this option and a dialog box opens, align distribute objects. Just move this off to the side slightly here. And then with all three of these objects selected on the screen, I can choose options to align the objects. So say if I want to align the objects to a left hand edge, click on align here and left is selected by default with the radio button here and the little preview shows how these objects will be aligned and when I click OK here these three objects on the screen will be aligned towards the leftmost point which is this edge here on this top square so click OK to demonstrate this and they're all aligned along the left edge so if I just edit undo this back to where they were this time go modify align align distribute again move the dialog box to the side here this time choose a, a right edge alignment when I click OK the objects on the screen will align to the furthest right edge which is this shape click OK and they're all aligned to the furthest right point on the screen final option edit undo modify align align distribute if I chose the center option between left and right options here then when I click OK these three shapes will be aligned to a center line that's between the left point and the right point of the two shapes here and here so when I click OK there's an imaginary center line running between these points all three shapes moved and now they're all aligned about their centers edit undo to return them to their original positions and you'll see that also under modify align align distribute there were options where we could align the shapes to a top edge or to a bottom edge if that's all you wanted to do then make sure that you untick the align option now for left center and right and if I have just this align ticked and top as a default option all of the shapes will align to the top edge of the square in this situation click OK like so and a similar process occurs for the other options as well bottom will align them all to a bottom edge and center will align the shapes to an imaginary center line between the top edge and the bottom edge of the two outside shapes like so click OK they're all aligned about an imaginary center point between those original positions edit undo back to the original shapes so use the alignment options just one last point about alignment if I go modify align align distribute you can set up two alignment options so we had this align ticked at the moment for aligning about center if I also tick this align and align about center now the shapes will move so they align both on a horizontal and a vertical reference click OK and all the shapes are aligned 
about their center points. So lots of options there for alignment. Edit undo, back to the original positions. And to demonstrate distribution of shapes, we're just going to delete these two shapes. And using just this square, I'm going to make some copies of this square using a method where we click and hold with the selection tool, move the shape, but to make a copy as you move, hold down the control key on the PC or the alt key on the Mac. Notice how a plus appears next to the cursor. So this time I'm moving out a copy of this original square. Let go of the mouse before letting go of the control or the alt key. We've moved out a copy. I'm going to repeat this process and just move out two more copies with random spacings like so and say now if I wanted to distribute these squares so that they were evenly spaced select the squares with a drag marquee using the selection tool all four rectangles or squares are selected and then if I go to modify align, align distribute as before but this time untick the align options and instead we are going to use a distribute option for the horizontal distribution of these shapes now when you choose distribute you can align the shapes so that either their left edges are evenly distributed or their centers are evenly distributed or their right edges are evenly distributed if all the shapes are the same, as in the case we have here with the squares, it doesn't matter which of these options you choose. If the shapes were different sizes, then this would have an effect which edge you chose to evenly distribute. So for this demonstration, we'll just keep it on distribute the left edges evenly. And when I click OK here, what will happen on the main screen is that the first square and the last square won't move and the middle two squares will be repositioned to create an even distribution of these four squares so click OK now and the shapes are evenly distributed now so this again is a very useful function when you have shapes all in a row and the actual distance between is not important but you want them all to be evenly spaced use modify align align distribute and use a distribute option so experiment with this with different size shapes and even similar shapes to see the effects you can create